Hey guys, it's Thursday here on YouTube Sisters and this week's theme is Advice Week. So I thought I'd give you some advice on starting GCSE since I just finished mine. If you're starting year 10, you've already picked all your options and stuff so you can't go back on anything really. Anyway, when you go back in September, you're probably going to feel a little thrown in at the deep end for a while. I sort of realised how much work I actually had to do because year 9 was such like a easy, pointless year. Just basically what I'm saying is be prepared to get a lot of homework in the first few weeks. It's not going to be difficult homework because you haven't actually learned a lot, it'll probably just be like researching stuff and finding things out and blah de blah de blah. Then once it gets to like Christmas you'll be into the swing of things, you'll be getting to know your new subjects and if you pick a brand new subject you'll be getting to know some more of the subject content. You'll also probably have had a couple in-class tests which you can kind of base how well you want to do by about Christmas. Like I know schools set you targets but I basically recommend you guys setting your own. For example I was targeted A's in all my subjects but some subjects I didn't want A's like physics I'm happy with a B and then some subjects I wanted an A star like French I personally wanted an A star that's pretty much the only one that I was really bothered about. That gives you more of a personal goal to work towards because yes your school will give you ones but they're just generated off of a database so they're not necessarily going to be specific to you. Another thing that I'd advise doing, preferably from the start, but really from about Christmas of year 10, is keeping all your notes. Honestly, by the end of year 11, you will have stacks and stacks of notes, and once you finish your exams, it will be the biggest pain in the world to get rid of them, because you're going to have to burn them or take them to some kind of recycling place, but they are so useful. Often your own notes tend to make more sense than that of an internet website, so to do that I'd recommend getting yourself a few folders. Personally what I did was use this one for year 10, although I only started making notes and keeping them from about March onwards. And then for year 11 I became a lot more organised, got a big box file like this, and did a load of subject dividers, and then I had everything in order of, like, for example, the stuff at the start of the course to the stuff at the end of the course. That made it a hell of a lot easier, so I'd recommend one of these because you're likely to fit a lot more notes in there. Another thing I'd recommend is from the start buying yourself the revision guides. Some of them are more useful than others. For example, I have this one from, I think it's CGP for French. Not gonna lie, I didn't use this because I hardly revised in French because I didn't need to. Not being big headed, but I wanted to focus my time on the stuff I was bad at and French was one of the strong points. But I definitely found, I think it was CGP's geography one that I had, it has since been burned. And I found the science ones really useful. Just get them, they're really useful to have from the start because you can look up things if you don't understand what you're learning in lesson and it just makes your life a hundred times easier. Some of them can be a little bit pricey, I think I probably paid 20 or 30 quid for all of the ones that I had. But you can sell them on at the end, although I've given half of mine to my brother and burned the ones that were totally waterlogged and covered in random crap. If you're getting revision guides, by the way, get them at this time of the year because this is the sort of time when all the old students will be selling theirs off cheap. When you get to your final exam specifically, although I would do this a little earlier, you need to figure out what kind of learning you are. This is why revising for in-class tests will really help you because by the time you get to your final exams, you'll know the best way you revise. For example, from personal experience, I know I revise best using the revision guides and usually BBC Bite Size and copying out all the load of notes and I have them stuck all over my walls you probably saw it in the background of some videos during the exam time I also wrote them out on little flashcards using colourful pens and stuff to jog my memory especially if you struggle with languages flashcards are really helpful to sort of flip back and forward I use them for learning my verbs but that's very level so I never mind sometimes I would watch things on YouTube YouTube is actually a mine of things that are useful for revising my GCSE science is really good he has videos on all of the unit 1 sections which are usually done in year 10 he used to have the unit 2 and 3 but took them off about six months ago and you've now got to pay for them. Maybe you get together a bunch of your friends, club together and pay for them, or try and get your school to pay for them. That's what we tried to do, didn't work. I watched a bunch of documentaries for history. There's a lot of maths related tutorials, so if you're not understanding how to do certain things, YouTube can be useful for that. And finally, I've rambled on about all sorts for long enough. Just don't stress yourself out too much. All you've got to worry about in year 10 is probably the odd mock exam and your in-class test, which yes, revise for, but don't stress yourself out about them, they don't mean anything. I found year 11 really difficult, mainly for psychological reasons, other than school crap reasons. I don't know, it's related to school, I'm not going into it right now. But I guess what I want to say is just to try and stay grounded. Don't get yourself too far in, because at the end of the day, exam results don't define you. You don't need a set of amazing GCSEs to do well in life. 
some stuff doesn't need GCSEs at all. Once you've gone past your A-levels and your degree, they don't look at GCSEs massively. Yes, they are considered, but they're not the most important things ever, so don't freak out, okay? Okay, that is the end of this video and I have rambled on for like 15 minutes, so this could be fun to edit, yay! I hope this helped in some way for those of you starting your GCSEs in September or going into year 11. And yeah, I'm gonna go now, so thanks for watching guys, bye!